Hey everybody, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil and welcome to a Jersey Concept ranking video. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. Today, we're looking at Gabriel's designs. He has done 32 NHL jerseys. That's right, 32, which means there's a crack in design in here. I have ranked them one to 32, my favorite to least favorite. We're gonna go through them in reverse order, 32 to one. Uh, that's just how I like to do things. I like to I like to leave the best for the last, in my opinion. And uh, there's some there's some doozies in here. You guys are gonna like some of these. And uh, I I have open invitations. I have released a video recently with a, a method where you can submit your own jersey concepts to the channel. I have 29 sets to get through. This is I guess 28 after this one. So there's a lot to get through. I'm gonna try and release one of these videos every single Friday and Monday loosely and then it might change a little bit but I, basically i'd like to do two a week um so hoping to get through these pretty quickly but if you want to submit your rankings uh for for your jerseys for your entire nhl list that would be awesome uh please go check out that video but uh yeah if you don't have the template yet well there's one place you can get it and that is sports templates.net and if you use code post to post you can save yourself 10 percent and uh, come up with all your jersey designs and, and send them to me. But hey, maybe you're not into jerseys. Maybe you're into sweaters or footballs or football helmets or hockey pucks or goalie masks. Basically, whatever you can think of, you can design uh, using sports templates templates. And he's coming up with some new ones. Guys, I cannot wait until you can see them. Uh, he showed me some previews for them. They are incredible. You guys are going to have so much fun with those. So make sure you go to sportstemplates.net. Use code post to post, post to post. Save yourself 10%. All right, let's get on. Like I said, 32 to 1. Least favorite to favorite. Let's start off with number 32, the Carolina Hurricanes. I think this comes down to um, comparison. So I'm comparing this to the alternate jersey that Carolina uses now because of the primary logo that Gable, uh, Gabriel has chosen to use here. So to me, this is a secondary jersey. Uh, in comparison, but he's done some really nice little subtle things here. Even though this is last, there are still some things I like about it. The uh, North Carolina State patch, which is um, on one of the shoulders, I really like that. That's that's phenomenal. You can see that, a dark out version of that on the alternate jersey, uh, but he has it in full color here, which I think looks really good, but I'm not a fan of the shoulder yokes in general. You guys know that, and I don't think that logo having red and a different shade of red than what's chosen here um, it, it, it doesn't match it, it it blends a little bit too much so i don't think that logo works with a red background but uh, i like the additions of the shoulders minus the shoulder number 31 the edmonton oilers i want to see this reversed i don't think it works with orange as the primary color here i'd like to see that blue be the primary color and then the stripe be the orange i think if it were, if it were reversed i'd like it a lot more number 30 the florida panthers kind of for the exact same reason i i would I know the Florida uses red as their primary color and their dark jerseys, but I kind of want, now that I see it done like this, I kind of want to see their primary color be that dark blue with the stripe in behind being red. I think that would be interesting. Number 29, the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, I think the shade of green is off here or something, or maybe the, the white stripes are a little bit too thick. Or I, I can't place what about this jersey is throwing me off a little bit, but uh, it's, it's definitely not my favorite Vancouver Canucks uh, concept I've seen. Number 28, the Minnesota Wild. Uh, Minnesota has some of the best jerseys ever. So anytime anyone submits a ranking or a, a concept, sorry, in a ranking video, and I have to judge it or place it, it's they're under serious competition because the actual Minnesota Wild jersey is is phenomenal. It is, it is, it is a home run jersey, and uh, it's very hard to beat that. So I think the shade of green that you, you've chosen here is more like a, an evergreen. Whereas the Minnesota Wild Green, as you can see in the logo, is more uh, muted or desaturated and and a little bit darker. So I'm I'm not sure if, if that shade of green works. And I just prefer their uh, primary jersey or their primary home jersey than this. Number 27, the Washington Capitals. I mean, you, you, you nailed this one. for, for <laughs> And not necessarily from a Washington perspective, but a Montreal Canadiens perspective. Because I believe you created these in September of last year, or maybe earlier. I can't exactly remember, but uh, it was prior to the reverse retros. No, it wasn't September. Uh, it was prior to way prior to the reverse retros coming out. And this is basically the Montreal Canadiens reverse retro jersey, but with that uh, secondary Washington Capitals uh, logo put on it. So I I like the jersey itself. I don't think it works with the Washington Capitals logo, based on the fact that I've seen this as a Montreal Canadiens jersey. Number twenty six, the Calgary Flames. 
I like I personally like when Calgary did that. Use the provincial uh, flag on there, and then the Canadian. Can can Jeez, long day. And the can can <laughs> what's going on? The Canada flag on the other one. Uh, I it, it looks like it, it throws off the symmetry, but I like those little subtle touches of geography in there. So I, I like that you put that back in there. I'm okay with the striping on the arms. I think I just don't like the shoulder yoke. Number 25, the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, different shade of, it's not even gold, I would say. It's, and maybe it's it's because it's not textured. What, what Vegas does great is be a little bit obnoxious. And I don't really mean that in a negative way. I mean that kind of in a positive way. They're in your face, they're bold with that texture, with that shine. And we're not really getting any of it in this concept with that gold or, or yellowish color. It's it's muted, it's flat, so it, it loses a bit of that Vegas flash, a bit of that Vegas uh, appeal. So I, I kind of want to see that texture back in there. Number 24, the St. Louis Blues. I like the old school vibes of this. Super clean, super simple, but I think you're using the wrong shade of yellow on the bottom. It doesn't match the actual shade of yellow in the logo and for the team. It, it's a little bit too dark. Number 23, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Man, I like to see new Tampa jerseys. You guys know that. Uh, and I like the black. You threw some black in there. I think that is definitely what they need to do in the future if they ever do a rebranding. But the shoulders, yokes, miss for me. Number 22, the Ottawa Senators. I, I kind of like that gold color in the background there as, as one of the stripes. I do think it blends in a little bit too much with the logo on the front, though. It gets lost a little bit. But uh, this feels modern but also classic at the same time. Number 21, the Detroit Red Wings. Yes, I know you don't train, you don't change uh, Detroit too much, but this one, I, I think it's, it is going to upset some Wings fans for sure, but uh, I don't mind it too much. I think maybe the logo itself would have to have more of a, a red or dark stroke on it to separate it from those uh, backing stripes. Number 20, the Anaheim Ducks. Interesting arm stripe here. Uh, which is, is, I wouldn't say, really a positive or a negative thing on on this one specifically. I like going back to the roots a little bit using those colors, uh, but I've just seen better concepts using these colors and using this general branding um, over this one. So I had, couldn't really put it uh, in my top 15 or anything like that. Number 19, the Arizona Coyotes. To me, this is just basically a, a generic, respectable, simple jersey. I mean, all that in a, in a positive way. There's nothing wrong with this jersey. It is just uh, kind of an average, I guess. Number 18, the New Jersey Devils. And I actually think a lot of New Jersey Devils fans are going to like this because I, listen, I'm in a unique position. I get to read the comments all the time. So I know what people like from different fan bases. And there's a lot of New, New, Jersey, Devil fa New Jersey Devils fans who love the concepts in black. And I'm with them. I kind of like that as well. I like seeing New Jersey Devils concepts in black. I like the simple striping. I just feel like maybe it's missing something. I Maybe a little dash of a shoulder patch in this one, but uh, yeah, good, good job, Gabriel, on this one. Number 17, the Islanders. Uh, kind of like the last one where I talked about shoulder patches. I want these ones removed. I think the patches on here are a bit of a detractor and uh, makes it feel maybe a little bit too busy. And I think it's because of the way that the neck is designed. So it's it forces that collar to kind of break up. And then we also have some, some eye-catching features on the shoulder as well. So it's it's a little bit busy up top, but I, I'm kind of warming up to the design. Number 16, the LA Kings. And typically, I would not rank anything that looks like this in my top 15. It would probably be in the bottom five. And I don't even know why I like it, but I, I but I do. I think, it's, I think it's the use of gray versus the white. The collar is in gray. The backing of the NHL logo is in that gray. The stroke of the stripe is in that gray. And then the uh, gray is also down below in the bottom. It feels collegiate. It feels uh, college or university or something. I just get very simple vibes from this jersey, uh, and I like it quite a bit. Number 15, the uh, Winnipeg Jets. It's hard to screw up Winnipeg. They have an amazing uh, logo history, and their colors, their color palette is, is, is incredible. I love the two shades of blue here. I think that looks really, really good. Number 14, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Love the subtle little touch of the stars in the back of the collar. That is fantastic. I think the logo that you chose is is good. Um, it looks small, though. Maybe make that a little bit bigger, and uh, I think it would look it would just look better if it was bigger. And that's what she said. Number 13, the Colorado Avalanche. Kind of a bold take here. You're going with a little mix of Stadium Series Colorado Avalanche, but also Stadium Series uh, San Jose Sharks and LA Kings from 2014. 15 ish and uh it, it works but it kind of doesn't at the same time listen i like colorado i love their colors i usually rank them in my top five at least they're in the top 15 
uh, but it feels just slightly empty. Even though this jersey is different and it's bold, it feels it feels empty in a way. I think we need some shoulder patches back there, maybe something in the back collar. Number 12, the Nashville Predators. I, I don't mind that logo in certain situations. Uh, I would say I like it. How am I going to word this? I've seen concepts who use this logo as a primary logo and I've not liked it more often. I have not liked it more often than I've liked it. So uh, it's it's a little risky whenever someone uses this in, in, in a submission from my rankings. However, with that said, this is one of those situations where I think this logo actually works. I'm okay with this being on here. I don't mind the jersey design as well. Uh, I feel like that logo should maybe be outlined in white though. It kind of blends in a little bit because of the, the shades of blue. Number 11, the Philadelphia Flyers. I think most people probably have this in their in their bottom 10, maybe bottom five, just because it's so basic and simple. But that's that's what I like about it. Philadelphia is an old team. They're in the second second expansion, I guess, of the NHL. So technically they're not old, but they are old as relative. To me, this is an old team. So I, I like the simple, nostalgic, kind of classic vibes of this, even though they didn't use this jersey. Um, it feels feels classic. Number 10, the San Jose Sharks. And this is, I mean, he, he kind of predicted uh, the future here a little bit. This is, for the most part, the 30th anniversary jersey, which I do like. I would have liked to see it in white, though. Number 9, the Rangers. He predicted this reverse retro, too, a little bit. I think I prefer the striping on the actual reverse retro. However, I more prefer the original Liberty jersey uh, versus the reverse retro and this one. I like this attempt though. It looks, it still looks good. It's pretty hard to screw up a, a Liberty jersey. It really is. Um, so good job here, Gabriel. Uh, I like the shoulder patches too. That's a nice little subtle touch. Just something different from the Rangers. Number eight, the Boston Bruins. For literally the exact same reason as the Philadelphia Flyers. Now Boston is an original six team, but this just, this looks, even though they didn't use this jersey, it looks exactly like something that they would have worn a hundred years ago or whenever. It just, yeah, that's the kind of vibe that I get from this jersey. Like they, like this was their original jersey, and uh, they're bringing it back for for nostalgia's sake. So uh, I, as a Canadians fan, it's hard to rank this high, but I do like it. Uh, number seven, the Chicago Blackhawks, another original six team. I really like this one a lot. I would love to see an alternate jersey for Chicago, uh, using black as their primary color. They've done it in the past. I'd love to see an Adidas version of it. Chicago, do it. Excellent striping here, by the way, Gabriel. Number six, the Montreal Canadiens, like I said, my favorite team. And I think most people won't like this, and I think maybe even I don't really like it, which is strange because it's ranked sixth. But on the other side of the coin, it is so different from the Montreal brand that it is, is almost forcing me to like it because I'm such an advocate for just give me something new Montreal, which is why I love the Verver, which is why I love the reverse retro. This is just so different and so unique, and it almost rep resembles like a flag or something. It just it just gives me modern vibes, but kind of like respectful vibes at the same time. I don't think it really works that well, but uh, I, and I don't think they'd ever even do a design like this. But I just appreciate how different it is. So I like I like when jersey concept creators are a little bit bold like this. You know, you, you create 28 jerseys and maybe you sprinkle in three or four kind of bold designs. I like that, Gabriel. Number five, the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is pretty cool because while we've seen, I think it was the Anaheim jersey that we looked at earlier, used the same style of striping on the arm. Um, it, it kind of, rep, it's representative of Pittsburgh as a city, in, in my opinion. I see elements in those stripings that remind me of Pittsburgh because of the bridges. Uh, Pittsburgh is known for their bridges. They have lots of designs and, you know, like there's, I don't know what you call that in a bridge. It goes down, it goes up on the side. That's what that looks like. And so I, I, it, it works here for Pittsburgh. I don't know if it worked for Anaheim. It works for Pittsburgh. Going back to that classic 90s logo with some striping in the background. This is really good. I really like this, Gabriel. Number four, the Dallas Stars. I mean, this is just classic. This is, I'm a 90s kid. So when I see jerseys or concepts kind of based on that 90s, early 2000s era, it makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. I get I get nostalgic over it, and uh, this is what that this does for me. I, it is simple. There is nothing special about this jersey other than the fact that it is historic in a way. And by historic, I just mean nostalgic. Number three, the Maple Leafs. 
Kind of a combination of a couple of jerseys here. I mean, this, but this, in my opinion, really works. This is one of the best Toronto Maple Leafs uh, concepts I've seen. This would make it stand out from the Tampa Bay Lightning because right now their jerseys look very similar. So if Toronto did add something like this, it not only looks historic and classic and a kind of original six, but it also feels modern at the same time and it kind of gives them their own brand a little bit as well. So Gabriel, I, I, I like this one a lot. Number two, the Seattle Kraken. I don't know if it's just because Seattle's so new and I'm just so excited to see like, oh man, the Seattle Kraken are coming. Their colors are amazing. Their logo is amazing. I, I can't wait to see them on the ice. Oh, look at this concept. It's incredible. I don't know if it's that or if it's that I genuinely like this concept. Either way, it, it's beautiful. I really, <laughs> I really like it. I can't wait to see uh, the jerseys that they come out with officially. Yes, they released some concepts and teasers, but that is subject to change if you're not if you're not aware. They're still finalizing the, the design on that. So what you what you saw last year during their announcement might not exactly be what they actually make. Just keep that in mind. Number one, the Buffalo Sabers. This is like I said, he created this before this season started, well before the season started. So he he didn't know that Buffalo was going to go back to royal blue, and uh, he predicted it correctly. Now, with that said, the 50th anniversary patch technically doesn't make sense right now as I'm filming this because it's their 51st year but when he created these <laughs> concepts sorry uh, Gabriel it took me so long uh, it made sense and I think it looks really good on the shoulder but I I love the decision by Buffalo to go back to the royal blue it looks amazing this is basically that jersey uh little little changes obviously here and there but this this is this is really great this is classic really really good so uh guys thank you so much for watching guys and girls thank you so much for watching i appreciate you please leave your comments down below which one was your favorite which one is your least favorite you want to do a whole ranking uh let me know and like i said if you want to come up with your own concepts go to sports templates.net use go post to post get that template and uh yeah fire me an email with all their all your concepts and we'll go from there so thanks guys for watching appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you're not and i will do uh, more jersey concept rankings coming very soon on the channel so make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button too all right guys catch you later adios Wow.